welcome back everyone to another episode of Stories from the Unbound Shores. It has been two weeks since uh, our uh, last session due to a sudden uh, scheduling conflict. Uh, so we are now back uh, where we last left off. The uh, party was moving uh, northwards through the fortress uh, in hopes of finding out more about Alice while he... Um, sticks around to harass them, question mark, as he has been popping in and out of the ethereal plane, uh, attempting to hinder the party's progress. Uh, he is currently shown on the board by, uh, not based with the marker, by this model here. Uh, the little light ones uh, in the South Hall, White Tristan. He's Remember, there's a there. delay. Yep. I just forgot, like, I was just saying that because I had forgotten. Yeah, anyways, moving on. Uh, so, show me that one. Uh, that the, the, the party is not able to see, but Mel, sorry, is due to her casting of scene visibility. Um, the last two things memorable that I recall happening, or three, I suppose. Um, uh, the, no, that's the wrong. That's cool. Uh, had found the uh, what appears to be a teleportation circle over in the uh, western room after having been blown up <laughs> along with uh, about a dozen skeletons, maybe more. I only yeah, got a in little the room across the hall. Yeah, only a little. With uh, a few survivors still on the far side in the uh, what would appear to be the kitchen from this distance. Uh, and then lastly, uh, Atlas had popped back into the material plane and attempted to uh, command and then command two of the party members and then send them into the ethereal plane with him. However, this was thwarted due to uh, a combination of see invisibility, detect thoughts, and counterspell, all by Melisari. Or fuck that shit, man. <laughs> yeah, especially since you were one of the targets. Uh... Yep. Fuck that shit, man. And as I recall, uh, do I have a counter? I do not. Believe we've had three rounds since your detect. Like, I think this is the... I think this is the third round of detect thoughts. Uh, for you, so you have... I like it longer. Oh, my well, counter probably doesn't save, does it? No, the counter would save. It just doesn't appear to have been used. I thought, I thought you were doing it. Maybe uh, I think I had been for previous stuff, but I guess I forgot for that. So I'm gonna say you have seven turns left, if if that sounds fine to you. I just feel like it was. I feel like it was more than that. Well, I feel like I was mentally preparing myself for the next phase in which I just straight murder his ass when he pops into the material plane again. Well, he was here previously. And then you cast it, and then he disappeared, and then he, I guess, stakes had to prepare an action, and then three, reappeared. So three sounds easy. right to me. Okay. It's three or four, I'm going to call it three and move on, because I forgot I'll to track you guys. Uh, Alright, and with that, I will start the uh, battle music back up again, and we can get going. Oh, wait, this doesn't look quite right. right. So, Ash, uh, you are up. It is the top of the order. Uh-huh. All right. I really do not trust stepping on the... 
path where the spike previous loop, so... All right. I am going to go ahead and get through it and use Batter Step to right next to, I believe that's my sorry. Miss? I'm blonde. Yeah. Yeah, that's my sorry. So I assume you want to go here or here? Oh, you can go further than yeah. that, but. Okay. Yes, it, it uh, is interesting seeing everybody in regular daylight. Uh, now, because I don't recognize anyone since I'm not used to all the colors they have on them. I know, right? Yeah, sorry. Uh, well, I like the isolated red. It does wear on my eyes a bit. I could turn it back on for now, though, if you want. Sure. We are in the dark place, seeing in the dark visions. There we go. Now I know where I am. My goodness. You were always the easy one to find, though, because you're right <laughs> next to the teleportation circle. Or summoning circle. I mean, now I know what world game. I'm in. Now I know who everybody is, because everybody's colors are what I know. <laughs> like, I, with the lights on, she had all this green on her, and I was like, green? That's, that's not... That's not <laughs> Al. Alright. Um... I'm going to then just get left here, and I end my turn. Actually, wait. I can just click the button. Okay. Um, Aurelion, it is your turn. I will light you up so that you know which one is you. Yeah, she forgot your name, um, Thomas. We're heading up the way, right? That's the direction we're You're heading. heading north. You're heading um, this direction. I, I put it to a top-down view because I felt like that would be the most useful for you, Thomas, but let me know what I yeah. know you want. Um, let's see. I popped the turn thing when I was trying to place the line. Okay. There's um, is that a little corner? Uh, up, just up and to the left. Right, right here. Yeah. Okay. That is five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five feet away for you. Yep. Okay. I will get you there. One, and two, what do three, I see? Four, one more. Five, six. I'll take care of that. So you can see, uh, in t uh, you can see a couple skeletons in the room to the right uh, in that kitchen area. You know, it's outside your dark vision. They're lit by the flames that are left over from the room exploding. Uh, and you see that there's more hallway to the north, and you don't see any discernible bins. And of course, you see Eskel on the left uh, in a room that uh, has a number of very old looking books, and one looks to be a very <laughs> well kept um, set of rooms on the floor. Um, I use if I use the remainder of my movement, can I move up to this the corner that's immediately north of me? This one here. Yep, you can do that. Yeah, five, ten, fifteen. Yep, that'll be exactly forty movement. And then I'm going to uh, prepare an action to attack anything that comes within range. Okay. Anything? Anything. Yeah. I like so it. So watch your back. Oh dear. Or your front. I'm gonna watch my middle. I'm Dirk, gonna try watch to top. watch all of them at the same time. <laughs> Alright. 
Um, it's a skeleton archer's turn. I don't think he has sight to anything. Actually, he'd have to reach too low to get at anything other than Dirk's top. Yeah. Looks like there's a wall protecting her. Yeah. Yep. I specifically moved there for that reason. <laughs> <laughs> I was Definitely like, I am not. not <laughs> <having these laughs> so much walls. Five. You wish you. Not nuts. Five. Yep. Ten. Eleven. Shot. I feel uh, like a pot is too big to be doing shots out of. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Maybe. All right. What? Leave. <laughs> yeah, Glad I'm not the only one who pinwheels. It's, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> also, it occurs to me that me saying "Don't mind me" was like. Without the mic open. Rolled a helicopter. Which just don't mind. Ten, twenty, twenty-five. This skeleton dashes to here. Um. Oh my God! Please tell me he's taking fire damage. I don't know. He might. He might not. I'm gonna go with no. It was starting to kind of explode. The, the, there's some lingering fire on the table, so you try and push someone onto it so maybe get some fire damage. But most of it's just for funsies. All right, so that one dashed. And he's still outside of his range to be able to see me. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Oh shit, there were three of them? <laughs> and 15, 20, 25. Well, those two can probably see me while I'm writing. Uh, probably. Let's see. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Totally. The they can. But it'll take at least not turn to get to you. <laughs> All right, and now for all the other ones, because the giant explosion was set off fairly recently. <laughs> He's gonna move an army of skeletons from the bunkhouse to us. 20, 25, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Oh dear. Oh, bother. Rust and Bruin. I like this little powwow of pat of friends in the hallway. Very concerned friends. Two of them aren't concerned. They can't see anything of the. They can't see any problems. They should still be concerned because they know the problems exist, and even more concerned because they can't see them. <laughs> Eskel is completely unconcerned with the problem that exists because he believes that guy to be a coward and incapable of fighting this battle. Hopefully Eskel will no longer think that when Melisari gets pulled into the ethereal. I mean, if that happens, he will probably begin thinking that, yeah. Alright, we're halfway done. Done. <laughs> you let go of the button. Oh, did I? I said, oh my goodness. I heard a whoa, but that's all I heard. Okay. Oh, never mind. That was out. Um, Ash then. Massive army of skeletons gonna come and get us, guys. It's so massive. Yeah. Together, they might have a whole 12 HP. Who? 
no, twelve HP, whatever shall we do? Skeletons? Because each skeleton definitely has, like... More? Question mark? 13. I think they have 13, don't they? Yeah, here we go. They have 13. Each. I think the archers have 12, and the sorty guys have 13. Do I hear, like, the creaking of bones behind me as these things dash through the fire? Well, that was just me cracking my knuckles. Uh, you would hear some uh, noises as, you know, as the sound of, you know, bone and some metal on stone as they uh, progress through the once dining area. Okay. All now right. it's more like the dying area. Oh, sorry. Actually, no, that's just south. You see it's in full of coffins? <laughs> oh, sorry, it's your I turn. Great. Hang on, I gotta think about this for a second. Are you deciding if I can see it? Yeah. I know it exists, though. I'm really just debating which spell I'm using on it. No line of sight. Yeah. I'm going to move, and then use a spell on it. I am just deciding which one to do. What? <laughs> Sounds ridiculous. Couldn't possibly be capable of such complex maneuvers. Going to mostly, I'm just trying to decide if magic missile will like allow me to actually kill any of them if I use it on them. I mean, you could probably kill one if you magic missile one. <laughs> Yeah, it's, that's what I mean. There's no way I'm gonna magic missile and kill all three of them. Although I can, all, I can prep them all for Toll the Dead, which honestly is kind of a tempting thing. But I'm just gonna back up. See what I can see from here. You can see the arch skeleton and the skeleton on the left, and part of the skeleton on the right. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to. I'm gonna toll the dead the archer skeleton because it's now gonna start trying to shoot me, probably. Um, so make a con- oh, sorry, wisdom saving throw. That's the thing I forgot. I forgot to get up the encounter thing with this with snap blocks. One moment. Oh. Alright, let's see. There it is. All right. Wisdom. All right. No save. The bonus thing I need to worry about. All right. Will a five pass? No. All we'll right. Take... Please roll damage. Let me find my second D8 first.
He will take... 7 damage. Okay, he has taken 7 damage and is bloody. Uh, that's uh, necrotic damage, right? Yeah. Oh, right. Um, you know what? Back into the hallway. Oh, wait, they can okay. probably me from there, huh? I'm gonna go back over here. Okay. I mean, well, let me check something. Figure out, see? We're there. Okay, see, so we're in dark vision range. Yeah. All right, Dirk, That's you're up. To shoot. So he was right in front of me. He's yeah. been bouncing around. Correct. Right. Between the sides of things. So I would like. Thing to be towards the middle so I can actually get to him where he shows up. So I think I'm gonna move I think I'm gonna move to there. Alright, you have 10 feet of movement left in case you change your mind. Um... and prepare to hit an enemy in melee range, although I don't think that someone will get in melee range to me. Okay. Oh, interesting. And then to get him properly centered, I need to size him up and size him back down. All right. That's cool. It is your turn. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, I do believe I was still using my turns to write this down. Uh, yes. And I believe since it takes a minute to fully, like, memorize it, I said it would... Only take half that to just do a quick sketch. Alright, what is this, turn three out of five? I think. Uh, this is turn two out of, like, this is turn three. You've done two turns. Okay. Turn three. I, I did have a counter for you. Wait. <laughs> so I can take care of that. Cool. Just, like, as I'm writing, I'll say. I don't actually remember what the last thing that happened with him was. Uh. Uh. The last thing that you saw, or the last thing that happened, period. I guess just because I had been talking at him. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, like conversation-wise, yeah, I don't remember the last thing I was said either. Um, All right. I'll just, as I'm writing, I guess I'll just absently say, uh, oh yeah, Melisari, you can check this thing for protections later, right? You know, once he's dead. And that'll be it for me. Can I? <laughs> I mean, either way, I'm gonna say, oh, yeah. That sounds like a good plan. Might try to find his diary, too. <laughs> uh, See if has, he has any thoughts about that. We're <laughs> going to go with no, at least for the moment. Um, Al, it is your turn. I think I hear some boneheads coming at me. 
I'm busy at the moment. <laughs> happening well. okay well because I don't think it'll make a huge difference in this case I will just go to Aurelion and I'll be waiting for Alvaro turn did you guys not hear me speaking while well no. in the program no. Oh, that's fun. So, would you like to take your turn? Uh, yes, please. Okay. Because I was speaking. Um, I would like to go into the room. I'm standing right in the room. Okay. Well, I'm well, I believe yeah. you know your move speed, so feel free to, to move yourself. Keep in mind that allies are difficult terrain. trying to keep count but I think I failed well you have moved 15 yeah. you have 15 left 15. okay then I'm gonna use my remaining 15 and Right there is good. All right. And... All right, Aurelion, your turn. I see. Are those skeletons coming out that door? Uh, like, are they, they moving were forward? Left in that direction. Yes. What's? Is that someone standing in the doorway? Not somebody. Um, not see. that you can see. What? That's there for my benefit. There is nothing in the doorway as far as your character is concerned. And there never was. Yep, that's bitch face in the ethereal. <laughs> oh. Um. How many skeletons? Is that three skeletons? Yes. Yeah, you can see all three of them. Okay, I'm just going to move to the corner immediately to my right. Okay. <clears throat> and then prepare an attack. If one of them comes within range. Okay. Skeleton archer will go. Skeleton Archer has no line of sight on anyone. Fuck you. So, 5, 10, 15, 20. I believe, yeah, I'll put S call in range, so it's going to. Well, it's. What's it? Yeah, it's within range of dirt. Print. So, we'll make an attack. It will miss. This, I assume a 12 misses. Yeah, 12 will miss. Alright. Because, you know, Skeleton can also see Aurelion. Well, 5, 10, attack from the prepared action. Aurelion, feel free to make your attacks. <sighs> okay. There's a whoosh and clatter in the room and you just hear us go, Ha! Oh, that scared me. Uh, I have to redraw that line. 
Rapier. That's an 11 for the first one. An 11. Uh, that will miss. That's a 19 for the second one. That will hit. Do we still have that holy oil on the rapier? Uh, yes, it lasts an hour. So that's uh, an extra d6, is it? Uh, extra d... Yeah, I think it's a d6. I'll double check. It's either d6 or d4. Adventures... A d6. Yeah, it's an extra d6. I'm looking at the thing here. Alright, cool. Then yeah, it's uh, extra d6. So, let's see. What number is that? No. Uh, Disappointing. So that is six piercing damage and one. One radiant. All right. Oh, isn't uh, that everything is radiant? Uh, no. The weapon's trade is silvered. Oh. Well, good. It, it just well six plus one, so seven altogether. Yeah. Uh, the extra da- that just has some extra radiant damage against fiends and undead. Uh, Alright, so then it takes seven points of damage. And it's bloodied. And will attack you. Um, does anyone remember if he still has um, protection from evil and good? I think that was from, one was, it was from, from Eskel. And yes. Yeah, I think he still does. I think Eskel and Dirk are the ones who do not at this moment. Everybody I put it on still has it, which would be, I know it was, uh, that must be Melisari and Aurelion. Yep. So, and, yeah, Melisari had to cast a different concentration spell, and Derek lost his whole person. Okay, so it's just those two. Mm-hmm. Okay, does a 17 hit? Double check, 17... Wait, what do I do? I have something cast on me. You have protection from evil and good. Yes. And that does it gives that gave disadvantage. it disadvantage, and it rolled a nineteen and a thirteen on die. Oh, uh, so okay. Uh, yeah, then seventeen will hit. Okay. Please take. What is their bonus? Eight points of piercing damage. Okay. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Um, Dirk, would you like to make your, uh... Oh, wait! Oh, wait, wait, let's back up. You only made one... No, you made two attacks. The first one was. Never mind. Uh, Dirk, uh, would you like to attack this skeleton that has entered your melee range? Sure. Uh, that is a... 17 on its AC. That'll hit. Okay. Would you like to roll damage, or should I just murder it? Uh, I mean, it's gonna die, but I'm gonna roll damage. Um... Uh, it's 12... Uh, bludgeoning and three radiant. Okay, so it takes 27 points of damage and dies. I think I say looking down at the bone meal. <laughs> I say, you're next, coward! <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, alchemy ingredients. I mean, it's good for poisons. Uh, oh wait, I still need- you know what, Mel, sorry, you take your turn while I move the army. It's probably a good idea. Alright, well, for the protection of- well... I 
wish I could toll the dead on two things at once. Alright, fine. If you want to do that, you should have been a sorcerer. <laughs> Sorry, you guys totally didn't need to listen to me clear my throat. Anyway, I'm gonna move to here. And I am going to... Hold the dead. The melee one. Who's okay. Saving. Oh, that is the wrong die. Will a nineteen pass? Fuck them. It got a twenty. Rude. <laughs> so rude. Ugh. Right. Uh, anything else? No. Alright. Then, Dirk, I believe it is your turn. Or at least it is when Melsar hits the button. I can move him with the arrow keys, but I can't move him with the mouse. I don't know why I have the ability to do that. Yeah, I think it's a bug. I've been able to do that in other, like, other times when I've been a player as well. Oh. Um. And I swing at... Uh, are either, the, both of these ones are hurt? Uh, yes, they are both hurt. Okay, I'll swing at the archer one. Okay. Uh, that is a crit. <laughs> okay. Uh, would you like to smite? Uh, no, but thank you for asking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm All right, saving it for something damage. cowardlier. That'd be uh, a fuck ton of maximized dice. Uh, <laughs> 18, 19, uh, 22 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. And 8 points of radiant damage. Okay. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's uh, quite a bit. That's 52 points of damage, and it's super dead. Would you like to hit the other one now? Uh, I think so. Uh, that one was four. Uh, a 15. That will hit. Okay. Four. Eight bludgeoning and three radiant. All bad. right. It does. I just imagine he's in the ethereal watching the gray <laughs> masses of things on the material plane pass through him. It's <laughs> mildly disconcerting. Right? By the way, does he, like, seem to have any reaction to being called a coward 20,000 times? <laughs> he hasn't yet. Okay, because I'm like, because I feel like that would start to grate on someone after a little while. <laughs> I then turn. Oh, I can't turn. Uh, I turn like oh, into the hallway um... uh, and start like looking around for him. <laughs> okay. He's the devil on your shoulder, and you don't even know it. 
Hey, where's the other guy? What other guy? his turn. It's like he momentarily goes Hulk. It's the only way I can get him to center in the corner of the <laughs> squares. I know. Just making sure I can still see him. Yeah. Alright, so, our number four of writing this stuff down. Yep. I imagine I have to, like, Pick it, pull the arrow out of the stone and move it out of the way so I can write down the glyph underneath it. Yep, that could certainly be a thing. Um, Alright. I guess I, I heard the clatter of bones, so I'll say thank you for taking care of those. I almost messed up my notes. Yeah, just focus on making sure you get the lines right or the effects could be disastrous. I, I'm sure that a coward like him doesn't need any help from me making this a disaster. Oh, it's your turn. Not that he'd ever take, you know, advice from a drow. I'm gonna be listening to the previous episode for a minute if if just ping me in chat if you need me before my turn again okay l l l you're muted in discord ash Such high res textures. We'll fly through. You're looking so pretty, Dirk. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, right. I've been forgetting to describe sect thoughts, because that's still a thing. Indeed. Uh... So... Uh... You would see him... Like, you'd see kind of flashes of remarks and things he's wanting to say every time you guys um, call him a coward, but he's not sure how you keep spotting him, and he's wondering if it's that because it's somehow related to the fact he's been talking, so he's keeping his mouth shut for the moment. Um, what time, what time also, says she spotted him that she didn't counterspell him? Um, because again, when she's counterspelling, there's been nothing about that that would give away that she's doing anything other than counterspelling, since facing isn't a thing. I, I'm aware. Uh, she has only spotted him recently when she's counterspelling. Mm -hmm. uh, 
So I suppose I see your point a little bit. Uh... I just don't want him trying to react to a thing he doesn't know is going on. Because right now we, we still have the tactical advantage there. Yep, that's fair. Uh, I will try to... I will re respond more moving forward then. Uh, there wouldn't have been anything significant from those particular uh, insults anyways. But the more important part of this section of Tech Thoughts is you have an idea of what he's planning, and that is if anyone steps on the um, trap, he intends to open it. Oh, uh, right. Did Kate deafen herself? She had such a chance to think. Oops. Yeah, probably. They said to hang her if he needed her before her turn. Right. Oops. So I have to re explain that last part. We know what happened to Ash? No. No, I do not. They just sort of oofed. They had said they were running light on sleep, so this is a chance they might have just passed out. Uh, so... Uh, Kate, are oh. you there? Yes, I have returned. Alright. Well... There's gonna be more to that ping telling me. <laughs> sorry. Uh... It was for me. It's just easier to explain via voice. I'm referring to the, the whole the tech thoughts thing. So, uh, the important bit is that the reason he is standing there is to rematerialize and pull the trap lever again. Uh, should someone uh, step on the, you know, grate for the trap. Fuck me. Oh, and did you see um, what I put in the chat regarding my detective yes, thoughts? Yes, I adjusted your counter and record. Okay. Alright. Um, um, I'm going to move on to Lance's turn, as Al has been gone for a fair bit, and they have just been uh, moving backwards. Aurelion. I just generally say I would watch that floor. It seems a bit dodgy still. And then hope. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if anyone's actually stepped over it yet, have they? Yeah, I mean, uh, I guess Aurelion. I don't know. Several of us. Mostly Aurelion. Yeah. Mostly Aurelion. Early on in dirt. No one else. So, oh, it doesn't seem there's that nothing else coming out of this room. Uh, there does not appear to be. So I'm just going to glance at Pascal and then are we waiting here for a bit? Sounds like a good idea to me. Eskel is in the room, like, poring over a notebook, and you can see he's, like, pointing at different glyphs on the ground and making sure he's got them written down. You just see, like, his back hunched over this work. Okay. He seems very distracted. Eventually, um... after a longer than his normal time... I'll just say, um, only until I finish this. And we need to find more info. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to prepare an action, um, just to hit anything that comes within range. Okay. That's uh, me. I'm going to move to Melissa's turn while I try and move up the skeletons.
This is... This is cursed knowledge. Do I have a reasonable guess as to whether, say, shield would protect me if I fell down the hole? Or help me, at any rate? Um, probably not. Uh, it would most likely be a deck save uh, for this particular yeah. type of job. Wait. So, haste would help, if you knew that. Nope. Or the dodge action. Because that gives you advantage on deck saves. I sent a text message to Ash, but I got nothing back. We should move on. Am I calling them? Just, I, I guess I would double check that their phone number is the same. Still ends in five, right? Uh, yeah, I know my phone. I, like the phone number I have for them is accurate. I called them the other day. Okay, it ends in a five. Uh, I'll double check, but I haven't updated it since the um, since Drew's game. Okay, then it's probably right. This is from back then. All right, I'll call them. You move on. Alright. No, well, sorry. What would you like to do? I am absolutely going to regret this, but... I can still move after... Wait. Yes, I can still move after I take the dodge action, yeah? Yep, the dodge action is just an action. Great. Then I'm gonna take the dodge action and say, well... Ferelian did it. It must be safe. And I'm gonna walk up here. Okay. And, and try to go from where Eskel is. Uh, when you step there. Where's the button? GM tools. Uh, with a burst of flame. You'll see uh, Atlas uh, appear there, no longer looking kind of glowy and ethereal, uh, atop his nightmare, and he pulls the um, lever, that being the uh, torch stand in there. And so I need a dexterity saving throw. Oh, thank Jesus! Okay, that is a 20. Okay. As the floor slides out from under you, uh, you can move off of it. As part of the save, you have to pick uh, one square addition to the trap to which you move. Well, that was rude. Please. You're quicker than you look. I was about to say, and you're uglier than you look. <laughs> <laughs> That's impressive. <laughs> we definitely didn't actually say it, honest. What? Not where that was supposed to connect. I am not good at witty comeback. Somebody give me a witty comeback. Um, Sorry, fresh out. What did he say? You're dumber than you look, thinking I would fall for that. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
you're slower than you look. You're really just still sitting there. Wait, no, he did appear other side at some point too. Oh well. You're saying all this out loud. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying all this out loud at this point. Hold on. Wait, I've got something. Wait. Your mom. Is a really nice lady. No, sorry, just kind of groans. Ooh, he's stuck there. Fuck. You know, I should have just used my damn portents roll. Alright, it's fine. Then I could then I could actually hit him too. Anyway, that's it. I think that's my turn. Irk. He is within hammer range. Finally showing yourself. Uh, oh. How Leap. far can I jump without a running start? Leap! Uh, what's your strength score? My strength score is 16. Then you can jump 8 feet. So, as I have looked at the jump rules again recently, it does say you could that the GM can allow people to roll athletics to try and jump further than their limit. So for me, it's going to be that you can roll athletics to round off, uh, like round up your jump limits to the nearest, you know, five foot mark. So you can make a standing jump to jump to the nearest space with an athletics check, but you might fall a little short if you don't roll well enough. What if he just, like, Jumps the corner. Oh, but Aurelian's gonna smack him with something if he does. Why would Aurelian smack him? You don't need to. Um, he said anyone. Yeah, but you don't need to take your action, uh, even if there's a triggering event. Yeah, you don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have. But one can. Plus three. So. I think. I think I'm gonna risk it. Okay. So. I need to move to this spot first. How hurt does he look, by the way? Uh, very, very hurt. Fuck. I'm just making my roll. Okay. I'm missing a D4. There was another D4. Uh, that's gonna not work. You never know. I, I I have a feeling that a seven will not, will not be sufficient. Yeah, seven uh, seven's not quite gonna make it there, buddy. Does anyone have a uh, inspiration they want to fork over? What pit spikes? Uh, I do. Okay, let's let's try that again then, shall we? You should. Uh, I lied, I don't. <laughs> oh, well, uh, that's fine, because I got a six. <laughs> Total. Wait, hold on. Somebody could buy a mulligan. <laughs> that's what I was going to offer next. Uh, I'd also like to point out, if someone would like to buy a mulligan, that's a new roll. That could be portented if someone wanted to do that. I will go, and, I will go ahead and do that. Where's the, where's the thing? It's the little... <laughs> box at the okay. bottom. You know, third time is the charm. Let's see if right. I can roll a before, two on die after roll, my four and three. Before you roll, um, Kate, would you like to use your um, portion um, die to um, assist this surprisingly uh, unassuming dwarf? I really didn't want to. Roll. I'm feeling yeah. lucky this time. <laughs> I I don't trust you. Take the damn 19. I oh. Now he's got this. He's got this. He's totally got this. 
I'll just say perhaps if you push off of that flagstone there, it looks to be sticking out a little bit more. Okay. Or some uh, shit, I don't know. So that means I got a, a 19 on bias, so it's a 22? Got it. You, uh, you're good? Goddamn. You just need a twelve, man. <laughs> I rolled a four and then a three. What? what, what I mean, a third. Guess what my next roll would have been? Another what? fucking four. Oh my god! Well, congratulations. You are still alive, and I am out my automatic nineteen. 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 I swing it. Right. Sh- I, I also want to shout as I see Dirk launch himself toward the night. That should be the name of a song. What was her name? The girl oh. you loved so much, you threw everything away. Had to be a girl, right? Or boy, I don't judge. You did s- see that it was a girl I- in the um, Detect Thoughts. <laughs> I know, it was me saying it was in character. Obfuscation. Uh, okay. <laughs> to make it marginally less obvious, I just want to find the information before Dirk kills him. All right. I can um, miss. I've been rolling very poorly. <laughs> also, it could shock him, and then he'll just, like, walk into the blow. I, I don't remember the name off the top of my head. I know it's in my notes. I'll just find it. I'm assuming he thinks the name, though. Yes. If he doesn't, like, I'm just saying whether or not he'd say the name, but he certainly thinks it, so you'll have a... He'll, he'll be thinking about her specifically, so you'll get a number of details on her um, once I can find my notes. Uh, but for right now, let's, uh, I'll focus on the hit while I try and find those. So, Dirk, roll the hit. That is a 17. Okay. Uh, he a, seven, a 17 would normally hit, however, he is going to use his reaction to parry. Adding three to his AC against one man attack that would hit. Did he not use his reaction to pull the lever? I think he used his action. No, he u- he did use his reaction because <gasps> it was a prepared action. It was so a prepared actually, action. that does hit. <gasps> so yeah, you okay. can uh, y- you can hit. Um, I think that was a fair point. Almost so you know, <laughs> it would be my last first Smoosh. level fight. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Smoosh! So you were saving it for a cowardly or target. Uh, first level is 2d8? 2d8. Uh, 2d8 plus one more because he's undead. <gasps> plus oh, one cool. more, 3d8. And then don't forget the d6 from the holy oil. Yep. Uh... He's so screwed. <laughs> that's so many dice. So All that's... on ones. Uh, I did roll a one. Yeah, but you get to re-roll that. No, because it was on. It wasn't the weapon die that rolled. Oh no! It was one of the one of the the. Um, it was the radius. Dice. Yeah. Uh, so that's gonna be twelve um, bludgeoning. Over. And then so silver bludgeoning, uh, and then seventeen radiant. Okay. Um. <laughs> You manage to jump over and you swing your maul upwards, uh, hitting him squarely in the chest and knocking him off his nightmare. <gasps> he is on the ground motionless. <sighs> now let me go find a nightmare horse token. <laughs> a horse is a horse, of course, of course. I have a very large problem. Technically a small problem that is going to make me large issues. I appear to have misplaced a D4. Ooh, fun. <laughs> yeah. You mean a caltrip? Yeah. Woo! That'll be fun when you find it tomorrow night. Or later today. Or when Larry finds it later today. 
Are you going to let him know that there is one missing, or are you going to let him find it accidentally? Um, I will probably let him know. Alright, does it not appear to have any kind of demon horse? So regular horse it is. I do hope that they can give us more uh, um, ability to get our own tokens in there. It is on the roadmap. Hmm. Oh, we already we've already tried calling Ash, right? Yeah. Darn, because I know they really wanted the horsey. Oh. Well. Make it white. What? Make it white. Don't I don't get this reference. Binky. Binky is Death's horse in Discworld. Oh. It's yeah, like the, this is this isn't Binky. This is one of the flaming ones that are uncomfortable to sit on. Yeah, the one that stands in its burnt out stable, just looking sheepish. <laughs> But okay. I thought it was a horse, not a sheep. Um, Dirk. <laughs> a demonic horse stands before you. Above you me. have an attack left. What would you like to do? I would like to attack it. <laughs> that is, uh, a 24. Uh, a 24. Come on, give me the stats. There we go. Uh, a 24 will hit. Okay. Hmm. That's a problem. That is going to be um, 13 uh, silver bludgeoning and 2 radiant. Alright, 13 and 2 radiant. Alright, it seems uh, neither resistant nor vulnerable to either. I already forgot the numbers. Well, what were they? Sorry. Uh, 13 uh, Silver Bludgeoning and 2 Radiant. Okay. Uh, and that will be my turn. Okay. The skeletal horse. What? Death. You had a skeletal horse, the flaming horse, and Binky. I think that was it. I think so, yeah. You should read this world. It's brilliant. It is. Yeah, I want to. All right. Um. The fuck? Why am I still in voice activity? I'm sorry, guys. Okay. I am. Figuring that out. Just gonna leave, or is it gonna stand and fight for at least a minute? I mean, I guess that would depend on how it feels about Dude Bro. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you that Plan A is out because a dead creature is an object, not a creature, <laughs> and it can only transport creatures, not objects. <laughs> So taking the body with it is not an option. <laughs> it also wouldn't really help it, but it doesn't know that. So, yeah, we're going to go with it all at least make one attack. So, uh, Dirk does not have protection from evil and good, so this is not a disadvantage. Doesn't matter. My dice suck. Uh, does a 12 hit? Uh, no, a 12 will miss. Okay. Eskel, it is your turn. Ooh, I finish my transcription. I do believe. Uh, yes, you do. All right. So that took your action. You still have a move and bonus. Yup. I'm gonna say. All right, I like close my book and tuck it away. Be like, okay, done. I'm gonna move my woo. Oh, sorry. I was there was an icon I didn't recognize, and I accidentally hit fly because I was I'm now flying. Oh, I'm not flying anymore. Okay, so that was five, ten, fifteen feet of movement. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say, all right, where's the cowardly bastard? 
Um, <clears throat> I pointed at his dead body. I don't think I can see it from here, but I am going to... Yeah, switch wall and horse in the way. So, stepping across this corner, like I've done once before, you want to roll of any kind? Uh, no. Uh, okay. Since you... Just carefully step over there. Could be difficult terrain. Um, I mean, technically, if you want to, you have a high enough strength where you can jump five feet without a check, and you had the run up, so you don't have to if you don't want to, but... If you're wanting your character to take a more careful approach than jumping, then I would like an acrobatics check. Acrobatics? Because that's the closest thing to balance that we have in this game. It's, you just imagine that it's rolled inside of it, rather than it's close but not the same. It's just, it's part of it, though. No. Just like, moving silently and hiding are both part of stealth. Yep. Probably good enough. Best skull with the acrobatics is gonna be a 19. Yep, you're fine. Okay. No, not even difficult terrain. Alright, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, whoops, 25, and then 30. Oh, what can I do with a bonus action? What? 3.5, you could try and fry the thing with uh, Lay on Hands, but that is not how this works today. I miss doing that. <laughs> the Divine Sense, Lay on Hands, on Arm Strike. Any bonus action spells that might be? Where's the bonus action? Divine Favor? No. Concentration. Action, 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 action. Bonus action, Sanctuary. Shield, Faith. Magic I don't weapon. Think, I don't think Paladins get a single bonus action spell that's not Concentration. Yep. Touch a non-magic weapon until the spell ends. That weapon becomes a magic weapon with a plus one bonus. Nope. Nobody. Nothing. Getting a useful action, action, action. Features and traits. Style. Spell cap. Oath. Martial versatility. Mm. It's not looking like I've got anything I can do. Sorry. Um. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, I guess that's it. I moved my 30. Okay. It's Al's turn. I'm just going to have Al hide in a corner. They already moved actually... themselves into a corner. Now they're in the middle of an open room, actually. They can close hey, the door. I'm just going to have them in this corner. This door will be closed. And until Ash returns, I'm pulling them out of initiative. Oof. How do I... Can you have not on their turn? Perhaps. Hmm. If you go to, you know, do initiative, can't you just, like, click on them? There it is. I could... Figured it out. I have to. I think you have to click on their thing in the initiative and then right click outside of the initiative. Alright. Aurelion, your turn. Uh, let me see now. Um... <laughs> I apologize. Is it, that's Haskell, is it? Yeah. On the left? Yeah. Um. Let me. Then you. Get. Uh, Dirk. And. Yeah, I, uh. I didn't think about the repercussions of that. I should have stayed in my corner. Uh. Sorry. Just throw something at it. 
got the task me. How much dagger? Dagger does one to four. Let her a hand axe. I can throw a hand axe. There you go. I will throw a hand axe at it. All right, make your attack. That uh, is a 20. No natural. That'll hit. That is... 7... Slashing damage. Alright. It seems to take full damage. But it's not yet bloodied. Hmm. Hmm. Let me see. Perfect. Oh. You don't have any uh, second level spell slots, do you? Uh, Dirk. I do. Oh. Right. I have one. Is there a thing that I should be thinking to cast? I, I am going to be quickly making the hand gestures for, for you to move to the other side so we can flank it. Right. So, I think that's all I can do. All right. No, sorry, you're up. Well, I'm the skeletons. Uh, you will start to hear uh, a loud clatter of uh, bone and metal on stone coming from this other hallway. I'm sure it's fine. I have an idea for that. Oh, that's interesting. Apparently I put the cone down on the... Uh wall of the pit. <laughs> nice. But point B, I can see the horse. <laughs> but I just wanted to make sure. Um... Yep. I suppose I can toll the dead at it. Or you know what? <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna toll the dead at it. Wisdom save. Ooh. Uh, does a 20 pass? God damn it. <laughs> I was about to say, is that an ooh for you or an ooh for me? <laughs> that answer your question? Alright, call it there. That's, that's all I got in me. Um, although maybe... Do I, do I know anything that this thing can do? Um, you know it can go in and out of the material plane. But like... Oh, oh well. Any AoE effects? Anything I should be worried about if I say... Not that you're aware of. Alright, I still feel like I'm gonna regret this, but I'm gonna... Do that little cornery sidestep I thing I keep seeing Eskel do. <laughs> And flop right. my ass here. Acrobatics, please. What? I had to roll acrobatics I'm... to do it. I got a 19. If you want to back up and jump, <sighs> you could just jump the corner. Without a check. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Alright. Then you can just leave your truck in there. You have to look for it. Okay. Alright, that's it. That's all I got. All right, Yerk. Demon horse is still in front of you, and you have a hammer. Sure. Uh, Eskel wanted me to get on the other side. And Makes signs. Sense. And jive. Um, I am going to spend my last spell slot to Misty Step to 
here. Okay. And then attack. Okay. That is a... 23. It's like, okay. apparently only roll well on attack rolls. <laughs> which is fine, honestly. <laughs> Still a little salty. I wasted my last portents on you. <laughs> Is it a waste? The fall probably would have killed me. <laughs> Which health are you gonna have? Are you? Yeah, have thirty-four health right now. It wouldn't have killed me. It would have been unfortunate. Um, that is nine uh, silver bludgeoning and two radiant. And then. I am going to attack again. I was nine uh, silver bludgeoning and two radiant, correct? Yeah. Uh, and then this is probably a miss. This is a thirteen. Uh, actually, that is a hit. Okay. For sweet, almost maximized. Woo! Um, Fourteen um, silver bludgeoning and six radiant. Woo! Okay, uh, it went from not bloodied to very bloodied. Back one. I wish I went next. <laughs> yeah, I bet you do. It's gone poof now, isn't it? Yup, it's done. Yeah, I figured. I can still see it, though. <laughs> right. Nothing you can see it, but you can also see it. Just you can see it appear and then run straight through the wall to the west. Oh, I turn to watch it. No, I can't turn to watch it go. I can't see through walls. Correct. Well, that's it then, I guess. All right, escort. You know, aside from the army of I stab skeletons, it. we can hear marching up from the bottom. Did you just stab into the empty space where the horse used to be? Yes. Okay, make an attack roll at disadvantage. Well, your disadvantage doesn't matter because I rolled two of the same number. They were what both one? sixes. Close enough. All right. You stab into the darkness, and you're unsure if there's something there or not. There, that time it would be a 17 to hit. All right. You're now fairly certain there is nothing there. Like, if there's something there, you surely would have hit it with that strike. I feel confident. My if, strike I'm, strike. if I can see you doing this, I'm going to tell you it, it's gone. That's cool. It left. It's not just invisible. It is, it is gone. Well, it'll have to come back here. Ah, I can move myself. The fuck? How can I do this? I don't have a roof on it. Tailspire, why? I shouldn't be able to jump ten feet in the air regardless. Anyway. I I do not want to rally on top of me. Okay, thanks. Alright, I rally on. Your turn. <laughs> uh so What's going on? Well, oh, I'm in pit. No, I'm not. We killed Atlas. The horse uh, <laughs> stuck around for a turn. We wailed on it a little bit, and then it disappeared and ran away to the west. He's got like a 30 second delay on the video. Yeah. Oh. That is unfortunate. Do. You... Are we moving on? Yes. We need to gather more information. All I got was this... Teleportation circle. And... 
I suppose we should move on. So I'm going to turn the corner and see if I can find my throwing axe. If the throwing axe was embedded in the creature, did it go with it? Yeah, it would have. <laughs> I'm contemplating whether or not you get your axe back. <laughs> Since you're not really intended to lose them, unlike arrows, I'll say you get it back. Okay. I was all ready to be like, oh... Aurelion, I'm so sorry. We'll get you a new one. Okay. Isn't the story of how you lost your axe more interesting when getting your axe back? Yeah, I'll work it into a song. I'm gonna keep going on <laughs> full movement speed. All right, 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 30, 35, 40. So what do you think the skeletons will do with this pit here? I think they will fall into it and I will laugh. We should close these doors. Is that a nushback? It is. Hello, Ash. Hello. Welcome back. What happened? Is that everything okay? Ah. Uh, kind of. Mentally, yes, and physically, yes. Just, yeah. Okay. Are you good to continue? Yeah, I'm fine. All right. A lot um, of stuff happened really? while your character was hiding. Oh boy. That's oh. not exactly what I wanted here. <laughs> uh, Aurelia on. Is there anything else you want to do on your turn? Uh, I'll take the dodge action. Okay, I'm gonna back step a quick second since we're only just past what would have been Al's turn. Uh, Al, what would you like to do? All right. So, I think I would keep going for uh, the desk. But I assume it's a desk. I don't know. All right. Uh, oh, uh, one thing that you do need to be aware of before you make any decisions. You have heard the sounds of a large number of bony and metal footsteps coming from the south. Throwing. Uh. You said a large amount? Yes. Okay. Sorry, I just was asking for clarification. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna continue towards the people. See if there's anything there, and if there's nothing interesting, go back and help fight off skellies. Alright, you can get to there by dashing, and I'll have 20 feet of open left. Um, I would like to try to see if there is, like, 
if there's anything interesting, like important, important papers, etc. All right. Upon close examination of like the desk and desk drawers, bookshelves, things of that nature, um, while there are some papers and books. They're all faded, and some of the books crumble as you try to pick them up. Um, no, crumble's not quite the right word, but, like, pages start falling out, like, disintegrate is probably a, a more accurate term. Oh. Okay. Um... So if I can't find anything, I just loop back around and get ready to help fight skeletons. Huh? And I am making skeletons. Okay, that's it for the skeleton turn. No, well, sorry. Oh, so we Jesus. Hey, it'll be fine. Well, we're gonna start by. Where's the lightning bolt when you need it? Shut up. It still only hit two targets. <sighs> what? Unless I took that one spell that I was considering taking. That was like a hundred foot line of lightning. Mm, mm, mm. Can you just fucking imagine that shit right now? <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, like sunbeam. Yeah, but that's like 6th level. Oh. I don't know, I always think of the 4th edition Lightning Bolt, which struck two targets. Hmm. Yeah, no, Lightning Bolt in this is just a giant line of lightning. <sighs> it would be real nice right now. Whatever, I'm just gonna fucking ray of Bones us. aren't conductive anyway, Malasari. I know that the metal they're holding is. 21 for ray of frost. I'll hit. Save one directly in front of me. Okay. Oosh. Damage says... 11. Fuck that. 11 points of damage and it's very bloodied. <laughs> I call that one. <laughs> Wow, cannot see that torch hardly. Oh, I'm actually gonna back up a little bit too. Okay. Just just to be on the safe side. Okay. to here and say are we going over there to get them? I 
want to see if they'll run into the pit, personally. Now that we've defeated the master of this place, there's nothing left to stand in our way. Are you trying to goad Atlas with that? No. Yeah, that's my question. Atlas too. is down. I'm goading the skeletons right. with that. Alright, I'm just making sure. Because you, you did poke at the, the horse that was was gone, so I'm just making sure. Um, so I will uh, stay here and take the dodge action. Yes, you noticed that Dirk didn't answer your question, but he did have this smirk on his face as he faced away from the enemies and said this loudly and obnoxiously. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, My I turn. Yeah. I have to determine if I'm going to play games with their heart. Quit playing games with my heart. I can't hit the lever and then prepare to unhit the lever. I could say, though. Is it an action to flip the lever or is it a bonus action or something like that? Action? It is an action. Say, oh, huh. sorry. Would you would you like to help me with this lever? Clearly, we don't want to leave such a dangerous trap about. Aren't I the only one with a ranged attack right now? Why don't you see if Aurelian will help you? Also, I've already taken my turn, so I cannot prepare an action before <laughs> they take their turn to sweep the floor out from under them. Aurelian, why don't you help me with this lever? We don't want to leave such a dangerous trap to fall into. Uh, where's the lever? Is it it's it's next to me. It flew away when I moved to it. Uh, if you all there, might be a little too low. <laughs> Interesting. It only moves away for the person standing next to it. Oh, good. Because I saw that it flew away when I moved there, too. Yep, it's the reveal there, and that is per person. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, so, um... I would, uh, I would flip it. To close the, the hole. Okay. Let me go find my, uh, my bricks. I think it was still in the room, Capital said. Yeah, that was right there. And I think that'll be it for me. Okay. Except to say, we all understand how dangerous this pit is, right? Wink, wink. <laughs> it's dark in here, I can't see what you're doing. Alright, ow. It is your turn. You can probably hear that there is an army of skeletons right outside your door. I would think. Excellent. Yes, you are aware there are a very large number of skeletons on the other, directly on the other side of your door. Oh. Goodness me. As a matter of, well... Yeah, you might even see, like, one or two shadows kind of coming underneath the door from the, um... Uh, dying from a little bit of the dining room light. This is fun. Spooky this is great. Um, other than opening the door and starting shooting that way, I am practically useless right now. This is awesome. Well, um, I will remind you that teleportation does not provoke attack opportunity. It does not. A. A. Alright.
And that would include something like Shadow Step? Yes. Okay. What are the likelihoods that I could end up teleporting into the room with the like, magic circle? Um, Is what it? None, because you have no way of getting line of sight to it. Okay. Wait, hold on. Does tele teleportation work like that? You need line of sight to whatever you're trying to teleport to? It depends on what spell you're using, but Shadow Step does work like that. If you're using Dimension Door or the actual spell teleport, no, you wouldn't, but you're using Shadow Step. I love it when the Indie Beyond decides to set me up. This is fucking good. Pardon me, as I try to aid this real quick, er, repair this real quick. That's fun. Um, I'm just gonna take your word for it because D and D Beyond is being a butt. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna go over, get that door open, and then teleport the fuck out of there. All right, so that's 5, 10, 15, 20. Uh, open the door. That's your interact. 25. Teleport. 10, 15. Uh, 20. And then you can step here, and then you could dash as, an, as your main action to get all the way across the pit and next to your allies. Would you really gonna want to? 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, I believe. Alright. Aurelion. Uh, are you back? You are not. But he has left a message that if he's not back, he will head over to Eskel and do his lover thing. So he is headed over to Eskel and doing the lover thing. Right, so he's prepping an action to pull it pull when the skellies get there. <laughs> Alright, skelly turn. That's a funny way of spelling, of saying skeleton. Uh, skelly? 15, skelly turn. 20, 25. Now, Choke it. I get he it. could do it just when the first one gets here, or he could wait until inevitably more get on there, because this front part's going to get blocked up. I'm just going to assume he waits, because he is not here. Yeah, I think that waiting would be a right thing to do. Since this one can't attack, it's going to move its full movement up. Fuck me. Stop. Oh, wait, it can't attack? Why stop? I left that line there because this one only has 15 feet of movement. Oh, right, 15. Then oh, yeah. a dash, 5, 10, 15, uh, 20. I could go there, but I don't think he wants to. So I'm going to go with that. No, it has a total of 25 feet. No, it has a total of 35 feet. What? 
Is it, or, let me take a look at Ray of Frost. Frost. Its speed is reduced by 15 feet until the start of it, my, of my next 15? turn. Sorry, its 10. speed is reduced by 10 feet until the start feet. of my next turn. All right, so then you're correct. Speed of 15. So it has, so then it has 30. No. All right, so then 15, 20, 25, 30. So it stops there. Yeah. I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on. It can only go double what its movement speed is, and its movement speed is only 15. <laughs> yeah, I had a, a brain fart because for some reason my brain was only one to apply it to the first movement, not to the the dash action. Mm-hmm. All right. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. And then they're going to end up just sticking up behind it. So, dashed. Now, there are too many skeletons for any ranger attack to really get through that mess. But they will... Well, they'll go to here. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. Uh, forty-five. I suppose this one probably could have made it here too. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, and that's so. I guess actually, with this more beam back here, these would probably be here, but then and then me would. And now the floor would most would drop as the whole thing is full. Hmm. And so they are all dead because, make it safe or not, they're they're dead. <laughs> Made a rally and high five. Well, more importantly, the ones that live, they, they just don't have a way out of the pit. <laughs> so they are effectively dead. Can't you just remove the panels and let those tokens fall? Uh, I could. Oh, they didn't fall. There. What the hell? There. Those three lived. But they're stuck. Yep. Alright. Now all those guys need to move there. 15, 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Okay. There we go. Yeah, we got rid of eight of them. Not bad. And that was 100% of the ranged ones, so even better. Oh, uh, yeah. I can actually just uh, remove that from the uh, the order now. Uh, how do I? There we go. Okay, Mel, sorry, you have some friends in front of you. I do have some friends in front of me. kind of like to make those friends not directly in front of me. That's why Do all my allies wizards. become covered too? I always forget. Yes. What? Yes, my allies give them cover? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to... We're gonna... Fuck. Really? Now? I mean, it's not really anything to, uh, to work with there. Hey. <laughs> Um, but we are going to bone. One. What? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're 12, apparently. I'm glad I wasn't listening to you guys. Y'all are right. awful. 
I'm gonna shock and grasp this one in front of me. All right. Um, is he wearing anything made of metal, or wearing armor made of metal? He is wearing metal, like he's wearing scraps, and any melee fighter, which is all that's left, would have been wearing metal armor, so they are metal scraps. So okay. you have your advantage. Well, it didn't really matter whether I had advantage or not, because I rolled a 19 and an 18. <laughs> okay. You hit. Will take. And it can no longer take reactions. It will take 12 damage. <laughs> I fucking hate this game. <laughs> that is, um, that is rude. <laughs> but it I can really no longer take reactions, so you can, you can just book it. I know, but I really wish I had inspiration so I could then magic missile the two things that I have hit that are one magic missile away from dying! <laughs> damn it. I am so salty. Anyway, I, I will. Actually, let me check something real quick before you uh, end your turn. Okay, messages. What all can you buy? Mm, yep. All right. No, no options that would let you uh, increase damage or anything in the uh, journal section. So do it as you please. Dirk, okay. you see a target-rich environment. Cool. It's the best place to be. Uh, I will point to... I, I don't remember... Let me, was it you or was it Eskel? I need to check your sheet real quick. Yeah, you do. You have a potion of speed. I do. If you wanted to consider, um, yeah, you guys picked it up when uh, the first time you fought Atlas. You got some decent potions off the adventurer bodies. Oh, yeah. So that would increase your defense and offense uh, for this particular horde. The dead adventurers. I mean, that would be fun. You'd get one less attack that. this round, but you'd get, you know, one more for the next ten. That could be really amusing. Just swinging your maul back and forth and back and forth. If only he had greater cleave. He could wipe out four or five in one swing. That would be great. Or great. Um, I would lose that on two attacks this turn. Uh, you would lose one attack. You could still use the hasted action to attack once. So you'd lose that on one in total if you use the, the hasted action for that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um... Fun, but are these things enough of a threat? More on using the potion. That is up to you. I just wanted to remind you because you got that several months ago, and I didn't want you yeah, to forget. I, I had completely forgotten about it, so that was good. Good to be reminded about it. Um, I think I'm going to refrain, though. Okay. Um, so I am going to swing. Uh, this one? Alright, starting at the back. Alright. 
The one with one uh, hit point. Oh, I, I, I was away giving my cat medicine. Um, yeah, that one has one hit point. If you want yeah, to aim salt, somewhere else, this, this one has one hit point. Salt. That this one has one two hit point. points, and the one in front has one. Okay, I pick I one up. adjacent to me that has <laughs> a decent amount of hit points. Okay. Uh, this and one. I, I get a um, fourteen. Okay, you hit him. He's dead. Okay. With as many as we're going to be fighting right now, I, I'm going to yeah. s- skip yeah. the, the dice roll. Uh, I, I pick another one adjacent to me that has a decent amount okay. of hit points left. Okay, uh, 19. Dead. All right. Uh, uh, any I bonus actions? Uh, no. Uh, and I think I'm content where I am, so. All right. Uh... Let's go. That's me. I am going. Yeah, I'm going to. Melee attacking is going to be better than. That's fine. I guess. So that Melisari isn't upset. I mean, you I can do one, one. I don't care that much. <laughs> I'm more mad at my dice. <laughs> <laughs> he's aware. He's aware of what makes oh. you upset and, and and what makes you happy in combat. Now that he's been through a few fights with you, <laughs> so he he sees that you cast the spell and it's still standing. <laughs> and he's looking. I goes, "Yeah, that thing's gonna die soon." Okay, I'm just gonna move around it. <laughs> And I'm going to start by attacking this one in the corner. And I'm going to roll to attack it. Now I've got a silver weapon that has extra radiant damage of 1d6. Correct. Alright, well that's a 21 to hit. Now we'll hit. Okay. That is going to be a uh, whopping four piercing damage. Rolled a okay. one. And six radiant damage. Alright, it takes ten points of uh, damage. <laughs> Sorry, this is a very exciting moment for me. If they all stay up until my turn, I can kill them all with a single punch missile. Well, I can't move over to hit the last one that's hurt. Or the last one that's oh, not right. hurt, so I have to attack one of the Carry ones that's on. hurt now. <laughs> I'm just mad that that one didn't attacks. pop, because my die decided to roll a one. Yeah. You know. <sighs> and I, I don't think an eight is going to hit. Sadly, it will not. Oh... <sighs> All right. Uh, any bonus actions? As always, no. All right, Al. It's the next turn. Yep. Oh, that's a skelly right in front of me. Yep. It's got two health. It's got two health. But it does Do also want... have a turn before mine, so... Ah! Uh, if you want to kill it, I understand. I'm gonna kill that guy. Okay. Uh, roll your attack. Ash, do you know how many arrows you have left? Probably like 20 something. I should probably collect some at some point. So that's a 14 to hit. Uh, that will hit. Uh, 
You can roll damage if you like, uh, but your minimum is enough to kill it. I'm just gonna let you declare that it's dead. Alright. Dead. You still have a movement and bonus action if you like. Uh... I would just like to hide, and that will end my turn. Because I can't check. Actually, could I? No, never mind. Never mind. That was going to be a dumb question. What was the question? I already know the answer to it, think, re remembering and thinking if, that. If the question was, can I hide? There's actually from these. Um, you know that these things are relying on dark vision. So if you get outside of that radius, you will be able to hide. Um, I think I'm gonna back up and kind of stand with Mel. Sorry, so I can hopefully get some. Better shots later on, and right. I end my turn. Okay, Aurelion, your turn. Uh, which one is me? That next to the torch thing. No, no, it's just uh, for a second it was very blurry. I can tell. Um. There's nothing to the north, is there? You have not heard or seen anything. Okay. What's on the other side of the pit? Two more melee skellies. Okay, we'll leave them there. Just end his turn. God damn it. Can you go back? <laughs> yep. So, would I be able to move into that space in front of Haskell? Yep. He's. Yep. Five. Ten. Twenty. Twenty five. The and ones, they're, they're, the ones on either side of you are incredibly hurt. Yeah. I'm going to attack the one on the left of me first. Well, on my um, screen left. Okay. That is a 
Sorry. Trying to attack skeleton one. And that is seven plus. Uh, just a second. This is. Oh, for God's sake, just load. Can you be honest? Taking ages. What's the anyone? What's the plus on? Um... Yeah, come on, today. What's your strength or your dex? Yeah, I just. I had to shut. I had to restart Chrome and now my. Everything is, is slow. Your dex is 16 or an 18? Something. Really. Right, let's see. I go this way, maybe it'll. Psst. Beat up. Jesus Christ. Out of rural Ireland. And it's not just, it's, it should not be taking this long just to load the character sheet. Like, that should be like the first thing that it loads on the page. Because it is the character page. Gotta load all the ads first. Hmm? So it's gotta load all the ads first. Oh, Jesus Christ. Really on or to get with your rapier is plus six, so your damage is plus mm -hmm. three. Plus three, so that's ten. All right. Yeah, that thing's it's gone. <laughs> and then three radiant, so ten plus three altogether. Thirteen altogether. All right. It's dead. Three. Like three health. It did. <laughs> All right. So I believe you have another attack. You have. I do. Weapon. So the other one. Yes, yeah, attacks for action too. That one's a miss. Uh. All right. I will take your word for it. It's a two on die. So. Yeah, that's only an eight. Okay. Uh, any bonus actions? Well, I'm not bonus actions. Well, uh, there's good news, Bell. I can kill one of the things that I hit today. <laughs> uh, no, I'm gonna end it there. Okay. <laughs> Skeletons. One of the skeleton archers in the pit is still alive. We, But due to protections from evil and good, that's a big whopping 14. That's going to miss Aurelion. Okay. And then... We'll have... This one attack Eskol. Does a 17 hit you, Eskol? <sighs> Go back to my character sheet. For the answer is no. No. And an 8 will miss Dirk. And then we have these two. Jump in the pit. 5, 10. I wouldn't have the movement for that. So it's gonna move here, dash, and jump, and make it to here. Fucker. And this one is simply going to back up and wait, because there's not a landing place for it yet. I would dash, I'm like, there's definitely no way to jump that pit without wait. How can it, wait, jumping's not in action, right? Correct. Okay. It is part of movement. Okay. I would definitely have to dash to do that. Yep. 35. Uh, 
Alright, uh, Melisari, you're up. So... You say there's an archer in the pit that's still alive, yes? Yes. Well, I mean, did Aurelion say it? I think she's asking. Well, I assume that I, like, can tell that an arrow just shot up out yeah, of the Yeah, you, you would notice the new arrow in the roof? <laughs> so, something shot that, whether it's an archer or just something in the ground, you're not sure. Here's my favorite ceiling arrow. I want to cast light on it. Walk up to here. See, can I? Can I? I'm gonna try and peer into the pit. Well, and uh, where did it come from? So let's see. You're here. Your target is here. There's a solid bit of land between you and it. forgot to put on push to talk. I figured as much. I'm just trying to decide where I'm misty stepping to. Okay. Well, I'm gonna fucking take out two skeletons this turn, damn it. Alright, then I will delete the other ones that were just there for, you know, set dressing. Okay. Well, I'm actually not sure if I can see it's where I want to go to. If that's within 60 feet and not covered by a wall... See it. Cool. I'm gonna missy step to Bloop. And now I should be able to see the two skeletons I wanna hit, which yep. is I assume no. Oh. This one and that one. Yep. Are any of the others hurt too? No. Alright, then we're gonna send one bolt at that guy. Okay. And two at that guy. Okay. Alright, so that one Roll just Roll damage for the two. Oh my god, you gotta be fucking with me. Um seven. Actually it's not bad. Yeah, it's dead. Haha -ha! I have made success. Okay, carry on. Yeah. Uh... All right, Dirk. Okay. There is, there is still one directly in range, and you're having a staring contest with one across the pit. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will attack the one in range. All right. Uh, for a twenty-two, that'll hit. Okay. Uh, thirteen bludgeoning and two radiant. All right, it's dead. Okay. Uh. If you back up five feet, you can jump the pit without a check. Yeah, but then I'm still a square away <laughs> from the thing. <laughs> That's true. Um... Yeah. I do it. I back up five feet and then run land here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, and then that is my turn. Okay. Eskel. Eskel in the morning, Eskel in the evening, Eskel at supper time. What is this, uh, is this guy, is this, not like that, is this guy hurt right now? He is not hurt. He is the one that just made the jump. Okay. He doesn't need my help. All right, I am going to toll the dead on the one uh, that is next to Aurelion. Okay. Uh, 
Just so you know, you can attack across that corner if you prefer to do that instead. Hmm. Would be two chance rather than one wisdom saving throw. They do keep getting lucky with their wisdom saving throws today. Yeah, I keep up on that shit. Alright, fine. I will stabby stabby it. Okay. Although, to be fair, it was one skeleton and one horse that got lucky. It was a... Yeah, but that's two Yeah, I mean, it was still... <laughs> it that's was still two. like a 20 and a 19. Um... A 15 to hit. Uh, 15. That'll hit. Okay. I'm gonna take, uh, wow. Okay. Cool dice. Super cool. Um, it's going to be, uh, five piercing and one radiant. Alright. Oh, I crit that time. Oh. Well, that's fun. So it's going to be a whopping... Jesus Christ. Fucking another five piercing. And On two uh, dice? Yeah, I got rolled a two and a one. Alright. Yeah. I rolled yeah. I rolled a three last time That's... and then I rolled a two and a one on the crit. <laughs> and a nine Wait, radiant. Plus two dice. Hmm? If you roll a two and a one, how's it five? Don't you have three decks? Yes. So then that would be six. Oh, sure. Six. That would be how So that six, works. and then how much again, you said? Nine. Nine. Okay, it's dead. <laughs> Alright, you still have movement and bonus. The D8s are screwing with me. Um... I only see the one skeleton left, right? Correct. Alright, and I am very confident that Dirk has that well in hand, so I am going to move back over to this lever. Back over to this lever. Back over to this lever. <laughs> 510. Uh, uh, my vision looks like... Yeah. I wasn't worried about your vision. I was just wondering if it could see L for uh, informing them in their turn. Uh, you can see into the end of both halls. Yeah, baby. Shit, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I have superior dark vision. <laughs> Alright, so, being that I can see to the both ends of my hall... I'm going to get over here, and I've used my action, so I will wait till my next turn to flip that lever. Okay. And so once he finishes off that last skeleton, we'll move on. Oh. Ow, it is your turn. There's a single skeleton left you can see, and any attacks you make against it outside of that range, so in other words, if you take two steps back, will be at advantage, meaning you get sneak attack. So if I shot it from this distance, I would have sneak attack, or I would No, you have, you have to back up uh, ten feet, but that's well within your movement. Oh, that's fine. I will do that, and I will try getting sneak attack. <clears throat> well, I'm extremely glad for uh, advantage because that was almost a Fail. All right, what'd you get? Oh, doing math real quick. Hold on. Uh, twenty-three to hit. That'll hit. And uh, 
Yeah, so I've been kind of currently struggling a little bit with a password reset, so I still can't see my character sheet at the moment. Okay, uh, then please roll uh, 1d8 and I think it's 3d6 for damage. It is 3d6 at this level. I was just trying to remember what my plus was to... Uh, the... Is your deck score yes. a 16 or an 18? Or a 20? I think it's an 18 right now. So it is a 16. 16. So now it's 3. 3. Okay, cool. Grabbing my D6. Whenever you get logged in, if you make your sheet not hidden from the rest of us, we can help you. But right now, your sheet is hidden from us. Yeah, I realized that. I was just like, uh oh, nobody's gonna be able to help me because I'm the big fat dum dum and I made my character sheet not visible to the party. If you want, I could fix that for you. Ah, uh, it's fine for now. D6 is your turn. All right, 22 damage. It dies. Yep. Excellent. And I am my turn. Okay. Now we have time for the combat. Uh, Aurelion, your turn. Actually. What can I see? You can see that. There's a hallway to the north, a hallway to the south, and some rooms to the east and west. All the skeletons gone? Uh, all the ones you're aware of. Okay. I was just, I thought there was one there a second ago. There was. Okay. Um, then I was at, we're heading, and I point in the direction I was going before. We're heading off again yes we need to gather more information about atlas um, off we go and i'm gonna use full movement speed head north is that okay, include dashing first. Hmm? no i'm going to take the dodge 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 action Okay, Melisari will just stay next to the pit. Standing between <laughs> fire and pit. <laughs> Eskel's like around the corner with his hand on the lever, just waiting for his turn. Uh, you could prepare an action to move if you want to wait for the, the pit to be gone. Um, were we... How are we handling this again? Uh, you would need to make... Uh, an acrobatics check, or uh, well, actually, that's or a athletics check to either skirt the edge or jump the pit. Fuck that shit! I will simply wait here and, and say, "Is anyone gonna, gonna flip the lever it. again?" Maybe <laughs> at the second call, I was, I've got it. Okay, and I will prepare to run like straight across because I want to see what else is in that room once the pit is I, I do I don't want to retcon anything but I do have a question about your last turn Mel what did you misty step and cast magic missile misty step is yep. its action yep but you're not allowed to cast two uh, full spells in a turn seriously I, seriously yep. we, we've gone over this before but I had forgotten this time what is the point of having a bonus action spell then? Because then you so do a cantrip. Okay. 
Oh. All three of us talked at once. Um, I, 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 I got it. I could get it. <laughs> I, it took me a second to figure out what was being said, but yes, I understand. I understand now. I mean, if you want to take some journal points to, to smooth it over, then. No, no, you're fine. Fine. I wasn't here to, to say anybody should be in trouble. I just wanted to be like, oh, by the way, <laughs> normally you can't do that. I was so excited, too. Yep. No worries. Nothing changed. And now I'm standing next to fire. <laughs> Would it make you feel it. better if I uh, remove some of the fire that's next to you because there's not really any there? No, it's okay. Oh, there's not really fire here? I'm okay then. Like, there's fire in the room, but there won't be like some directly next to you. It would be closer to the tables. I don't know. It's fine. There could be fire there. I suppose, like, the door opposite you could be on fire. Probably on fire, since it's gone. <laughs> yeah, well, it wasn't supposed to be gone, but I couldn't get to go back, so it's gone. <laughs> My uh, beautiful anyway. doors have protected me. My eventual movement, once the floor is been restored will be to go over to this corner and kind of just collapse against the wall for a second. You'll be able to, to move as you like once uh, it triggers. Uh, yeah. Wake. Okay, it's your turn. Okay, I am going to uh, prepare to move um north when the thing is no longer a, a hole since I can't move far enough to be able to jump without a roll. Uh, and that is my turn. 20, 25, um, if you take the dash action, you could actually make it five feet further compared to waiting for the thing to go up, but that's up to you. Oh. Uh... Mm. I think I'll keep the action that I had stated. I feel like there's some benefit to being in the back, just in case. Alright. Um... Let's go. So I know what your action is, so I'll get on that. Wait, nope, that's wood. That is so fascinating. What? Fascinating? When I so if I highlight um Aurelion on my turn, that makes the uh, uh, torch come back, right? Because uh, it's I'm controlling a character who's not intersecting with another to uh, another object. But the other thing that happens is a whole bunch of flames appear in the kitchen that I can't see it while I'm controlling Eskel. And it's just very strange. <laughs> Like ten, ten flames just appear that Eskel that I can't see while I have Eskel highlighted. In any event, uh, I do believe that somewhere like one, two, around here, there should be a, 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 a suit of armor with some ash. Um, yes, currently it's a suit of armor with some body weapon. Uh, it, he has a long sword and chainmail, I believe, and no shield. Wait, Are any of them, like, obviously magic, like, have a glow about them, or do they currently look mundane? Uh, they appear to be mundane. Okay. Where are we seeing this? Uh, he is, uh, examining the body of Atlas. Ah. Uh. Atlas body. Oh. Um, I will... can I pick, like, something up, like... The weapon, or the shield, or the armor, like, what's reasonable? Uh, the armor would take time to detach, because you basically still have to doff it off of him. Uh, but you could easily pick up the weapon. Do I have to, like, is there a body in there? Do I have to doff it from him? Yes, there's currently still a body. 
as uh, the same as the first time we guys fought him. The, he has a body at the start, but it kind of faded after oh. some time. Oh, okay. So this is the uh, the body marker. Okay. What does does the shield have uh, any heraldry on it? There is no shield. He, he didn't use one. Oh, he didn't use one. Okay. Is there any particular marking on the longsword? Does it just look like dwarven make? Like when he reformed, he just grabbed something out of the armory? Um. Yes. Uh. The. The longsword appears to be. Uh, of you know, door to make and it and the chainmail he's wearing seem to be somewhat ill-fitted and ill-kept. Right. Similar to what you just said, like it may have been something that was just Taken lying around. Armory. So if they're ill-fitted and ill-kept, they do look like they're wet, time worn. Yes. Okay. Um. Should I roll Arcana, or does my character have a general understanding that magic items generally don't do that? Should I check? Um. Given. Just given your lack of. Your character's lack of experience in life, I'm going to go with you and roll it. Okay. Uh, Arcana? Uh, Arcana or Religion. Or Religion, okay. Well, know, that's a decent roll. Things. Let's see what, what I got. Let's see. Arcana would make that a 16. The religion would make it a 19. 19. Okay. Then you are aware that uh, at least powerful artifacts are protected from, you know, most of your basic wear and tear, but some lesser items, like the uh, Sending Stones, can be broken from uh, normal force. As opposed to some special means. And I'm just going to stand up and say, I don't think the equipment he was using is magical, but I'm not certain. I'm going to leave it where it is. And I'll make that investigation my action. All right, fair enough. I can figure it out, but I would need 10 minutes. Yeah. So it might be worth coming back to after we make sure the castle is clear. I think that's good idea. Whatever. All right. She says kind of weakly from around the corner. A weakly is it? As in, she just <sighs> trying to figure out how to put it. You sound injured? She sounds tired, I guess would be a, a way to put it. She's just had a couple ordeals here. <laughs> Indeed. Um, then mm. I guess, uh, if... Like, keep in mind, you might not be aware of this, but she intentionally triggered a trap that she was not 100% certain she was going to be able to save herself from. <laughs> There was a definite moment of panic there. And then she stood next to fire. It's 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 been a day. <laughs> yeah. She's just over here leaning against the wall. So instead of moving up like I was going to since we were talking and there's voice instead he's going to move back to the corner and just sort of like leaning around it, <laughs> like poking her head into her alcove, just be like Okay. Oh sure. I'm wonderful. And she kind of gives you this this smile of like, I don't want to fucking talk about it. I'll uh, I'll hang nearby and make sure this jumps up. Mostly, I just want to see what's in this room, other than the circle, obviously. I don't remember. Did Aurelian grab um, books from that room? I feel like I remember we were both in there, and I told him to grab the books off the desk. Did uh, that happen? There was Dirk one particular them. book. Dirk that grabbed them. Gra Dirk grabbed, yes, yeah. One book that didn't seem to have um, wilted. Hmm. <laughs> and I guess just as I end my turn, I'd be like, I think Dirk grabbed a book while I was writing down the circle. 
I look over at Dirk with interest. Al's turn. Um, My turn. Before we continue, uh, we have about eight minutes left, and we are at the top of the order. Do we want to call it there, or try and go one more? I'd be okay to go one more. To, uh, how about you, um, Thomas? Uh, one more one. One more like round. One more round. Yeah, sure. Okay. All right. Uh, Al, your turn. Um, Al would ask, are we moving forward, or what's our plan? Uh, I talked a lot. Am I allowed to answer? I'm gonna go with yes, but keep it brief. Alright. I'll just say, stick with Aurelion. Don't go too far. Sounds good. Uh, and Al would... Try to stay close by, but also... Be on guard if anything were to come at them from another direction. Okay. Uh, are you taking the dodge action then, or an action to shoot something if it appears? Uh, preparing to shoot. Okay. And that ends my turn. Okay. Aurelion. Where am I? Who's around me? Uh, the body of the Death Knight is to your south, and uh, Al is to your right, uh, to the east. Um... If no one's moving, I guess it's where I am and just dodge. I mean, I believe that you can move up just because of the discussion we just had. Um, DM would Al be able to move their token with Aurelion like Mel and I did, since that was kind of like the decided course of action. If he moves. Sure. I think mechanically that's supposed to be like a prepared action, but I don't see why not. Okay, then I'll move as far as as far as I can move. Alright, stop. <laughs> now, as you get there, <laughs> uh, a sword it. comes out from around the corner and attempts to hit you in the face. <laughs> I think you have to move Al up to has Mr. Good, right? I will, just let me finish rolling this. And he has protection from evil and good, but still... Yep. Well, I'm not gonna bother rolling the second one, because the first one was a one. <laughs> Very nice. So that's a miss. We're somewhere between, like, 20 and 100 turns in here, so I believe he still has it. <laughs> <laughs> he has it for 100 turns total. I know we yeah, are but, at least yeah. 30. If, it, if it's 10 minutes or over, I'm not going to bother keeping track of it even in a dungeon. It's just... <laughs> it's it's not worth the stress of trying to keep that number accurate. <laughs> Alright. But uh, it is why that I chose to do the whole dungeon and combat turns. Um, whatchamacallit, uh... Was that all of Raleon's movement? No! I was only 30 feet of it. Alright. Uh, Aurelion, would you like to keep moving, or just strike where you're standing, or something else? Uh, I'll stay where I am. Okay. Are you going to attack? I think I said I was taking the dodge action. I just wasn't sure if that was different now that you had seen that there was something else you could strike. Also, 
For point of reference, the dodge action is next to useless to you because you have protection from evil and good on. Yeah, see, I realize that now. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> so I was wondering when that was going to come up. <laughs> I mean, as I mean, long as it didn't with... come into play, it was fine to let him keep doing it. He'd only done it the one time. I mean, it does... It believe it does... Wait. It would give you advantage on deck saves and help if something in here happens to not be an undead fiend, celestial aberration, or... Yeah, know. I already have advantage right. on decks. Oh, well then. <laughs> <laughs> so... Maybe you don't need to use the dodge action. Yeah, maybe I don't. Would you like okay, to attack, so I will. <laughs> I think I will. There you go. Okay, let's see. Give him a poke. Voice attack. The 19 on die, so that's 25. Okay. And eels. There are you. Uh, 7 plus 3 is 10, uh, the piercing, and 6. Alright, it buff. dies. Poof. Poofeth. And... You'll have movement and one more guy that you can reach. <laughs> yeah, I'll move up to get him in range of this other fellow. That's a 12. Total? 12. Yes. Oh. That's a bummer. That's one short. Oh, well. Oh. Oh. Is it possible to make tokens prone in this? No. Not yet, but no. that's that's on the short list for features. Okay. Can we I can make them tiny that? again. Oh, uh, yeah, that would work. Like oh, that's the wrong button. <laughs> indicate that he's there, but not <laughs> functional. There, now he's tiny. Hey, he might be uh, sensitive about his lack of functionality. Um, I'm really hoping that he can't really take in any sensory information right now, and thus has no feelings on what's being talked about. Maybe he doesn't like being called small. All right. Alright, and, and we're so close enough to think of I will pull it there, as we have just hit 5 o'clock. And since we also went uh, more than another round, since I wasn't thinking. Moving on. Did I didn't we? have a... Yeah, we didn't. No, we only went one no, turn. No, I had a brain fart. So yeah, we can finish from now. Sorry. <laughs> Let's finish the round. Look, I I've been up since since one a.m. Mm. Uh, it has been a day. Mm. I've been up since eight a.m. Four thirty, baby. Um, so uh, that's Aurelion's turn. Mel, sorry. What would you like to do? I would like to sigh heavily and say, "No rest for the weary." One. Two, three, four, five, six. Because sorry, I cannot think in terms of feet, only in terms of numbers. I'm... I will contemplate whether I want to waste my last second level spell slot and Misty Stunner. As school just looks but... a little surprised and don't want to check the remote. I do want to check the room out, but apparently there's more shit that needs to be done. Believe in them. It's not about believing in them. Um... I guess I will just take the dash action. Move more. Alright. Plenty of time to check out the room after everything is dead, er than it already is. 
better find. Okay. Um, I didn't move when the thing came up. Oh, uh, right. So, so just will... take an extra move now. Uh, and then this is where it would be. So I don't lose track of this guy. Five, uh, and I think I will dash. So one, two, four, five. And that's okay. me. Let's go. That's me. Well, I guess if we're not going back in that room. You didn't have to come back in there. It was Dirk if I needed healing. Actually, I don't know if Dirk has any healing left, but that's besides the point. Dirk, Dirk has very little healing left. <laughs> Dirk has a potion he can drink. I don't necessarily recommend it. The, the Death Knight is dead, but, you know, it's an option. Alright, so Knight. I guess I'm dashing because I said I'd stay nearby. But we don't block them. Um, I got nothing else. Uh, that's one of it, one turn. All right, I right. stand. All right, game's that's over. Cool, Thanks, actually. stream. Bye. Bye, stream. Bye.